Hi guys, welcome to Mr. Introdent YouTube channel and today in this short video segment we will be discussing the phantom pile or the dynamic functional theory of resources. This theory was given by Zimmerman. So let us move to its major crux. See all natural elements or matters on the earth are functionally static which means that there are numerous items or numerous uh, n number of things that are available on our earth but they are functionally static. They are of no use until and unless man finds the ways to use those neutral stuffs or the elements or the matters on the earth. So it is man who decides how and when or where or with what elements he is going to fulfill his needs or utilities or with the help of abilities of man he decides to choose that which of the neutral stuff he will be taking as resources and which not. So there are n number of things, n number of stuffs that are available on our earth but not all of them are resources. We see that whenever we define the resource term, so we say that resources are something which fulfill the need of man. So until and unless something is not fulfilling the need of man, then it is it will not be said as resource, it will be a neutral stuff. So the theory starts with the function of the resources we see that only and only a neutral stuff will come into function or will be dynamic when the man comes into light when the man uses his abilities to fulfill his wants with the help of that neutral stuff then only that neutral stuff will become the resource we see that only those part of these matters which are related with human population remain dynamic neutral elements become resources only when they are obtained when they obtain the quality and capacity to satisfy human needs so if something is satisfying the human needs then only it will be said as resource and then only it will be treated as dynamic and this evolution occurs because of the change in technology, because of the change in behavior or the mindset of men. Men discovers new and new and new resources. And this is a very long process or you can say that this process is a continuous process. Men is still discovering more and more new resources. He is inventing new things. He is trying to take the neutral stuff out of the earth and trying to find whatever whatever use he can make of those neutral stuffs and make them resources so it is very important that we see that man is the only th person or man is the only factor which makes the neutral stuffs as resources so here we see that there is a relationship human has needs and wants which make his culture and this is the cultural part, this is the natural part, nature has neutral stuffs. These will become resources only when the human wants or abilities will make them of utility or which tried, will try to utilize these neutral stuffs. Now we see that human wants and skills have been responsible for changing neutral stuffs into dynamic resources. For example, Coal, petroleum, natural gas, atomic minerals all have been the part of earth's surface for immemorable time. But when human came in, when human thought of it that how can I use this coal, how can I prepare a fuel out of it, how can I use it in producing energy, then only these became as resources. So this is the dynamic functional theory of resources and now the phantom pile phantom pile part of this is that the, it is technology it is the technology which can increase the capacity or the you can say that at, it can help in rebuilding the resources we see here there are two figures both are almost same we see that there is the original pile then original pile is reducing because of its use and misuse then there is a phantom pile Similarly, in this figure also we see that there is an initial file, initial phantom pile and it some part of it is reducing because of misuse and use. And this is a larger picture we see, a larger cube. Here it says that there is a phantom pile which is showing the expansion of functional capacity. So what the actual theory is that Though, uh, though the resources reserves tend to decrease by their use and misuse but by the progress and technology 
पर यूनिट कैपेसिटी एंड टोटल यूटिलाइजेशन कैपेसिटी मे बी इंक्रीज मैनी अ टाइम्स सो इट सेज दैट रिसोर्स वेन बींग यूज फॉर अ लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम दे गेट रिड्यूस्ड और देयर क्वान्टिटी दे आर ऑलरेडी स्टेटिक इन नेचर सो दे विल बी रिड्यूसिंग विद टाइम बट वॉट हैपन्स इज दैट अलॉन्ग विद द टाइम when human brains develop more and more then they find more and more new technologies by which the productive efficiency or by which the productive capacity increases so the resources that are now little they are also used for more for more purpose or you can say for producing more energy for uh, doing more works or for doing satisfying more utility so the resources are now little but the productive capacity or the technology is higher so overall there is a balance between resources and we can also see that there are renewable resources which can be renewed with time which which humans are using continuously but still they are getting renewed with time so this is also an example of how the functional capacity building the functional capacity with the help of technology he makes the resources remain unchanged or the availability of resources remain unchanged so this was all about the phantom bile theory there is nothing more and less that needs to be studied in this topic it is a very short concept it is clear from the above analysis that resources are not static and fixed but limited but they are dynamic and changeable which move or transfer with time and technology so the main factor in improving the productive capacity here we see is technology so if you like this video do subscribe to our channel you can get the full handwritten notes of this topic on our telegram channel thank you for watching